How y'all doing? I'm Greg Thompson. One of the questions that I get asked both by my students and many others is, Greg, how when we're out in the woods can we stay safe from snakes? There's venomous snakes throughout most of the southeast and the southwest up into some of the northern parts of the continental United States. How do we stay safe from them? Well, you need to educate yourself. First and foremost, you need to educate yourself Learn how to identify the snakes that are venomous in your area. And if nothing else, that gives you the confidence that if you see a snake that you don't recognize, at least you know it's not going to kill you if it were to bite you. But do these snakes really kill that often? In reality, if you look at the numbers, and I have gone on and done extensive, extensive research into these numbers, Here's the reality. You have more of a chance of dying from lightning strikes. You have way more of a chance of dying on the highways. You have more of a chance of, uh, of being stung by bees, to be stung to death by bees, or attacked by stray dogs than you have of dying from a venomous snake bite. As a matter of fact, on average, here in North America, there's approximately seven to 8,000 venomous snake bites per year, and out of that seven to 8,000, only five end up as fatalities. Those are kind of the average numbers. Here's some other interesting numbers that might fascinate you. 55% uh, of those that are bitten by venomous snakes were young men between the ages of 17 and 27. Okay guys, so maybe a little less testosterone and vibrato around snakes, okay? Of those 55%, 85% of them were bitten on the hand or the fingers, which means that they were reaching in to get that snake. 57% were actually handling the snake when they got bit, and 28%, okay, 28% involved alcohol and being drunk. Okay guys, alcohol and snakes just don't mix. So what are the circumstances around which an individual gets bit? Well, here are the top five circumstances when people were getting bit. Number one is that they were trying to either catch or kill the snake, okay? Just leave snakes alone. Right there, you're gonna get rid of a lot of snake bites. Just leave them alone. The second one is they were trying to show off. Okay, snakes are not things to show off. It's not cool to show off. Ooh, look at me, I can catch a snake. Okay, it's just not cool to do that. Uh, alcohol was involved. Again, alcohol and snakes don't mix. Don't put those two together. Uh, now, with this, they simply misidentify the snake. That's number four. Uh, they thought it was a non-venomous snake and they picked it up and they're wrong. I've been guilty of that. When I see a venomous snake that has an atypical coloration and I end up picking it up and realizing my mistake, okay, I've never been bit by a venomous snake. I've been lucky in those instances. But misidentifications can happen. You've got to be careful. And the last reason, number five, why people get bit, okay, they simply put their hands, they didn't see the snake. They put their hands or their feet where they couldn't see them. That is always a no-no. So, Here's some general snake safety tips. Number one, snakes are basically lazy. If they come up against a log like this, their tendency is not gonna be to go over it. Their tendency is gonna be to crawl along the edge. Okay, so if I'm walking up, if I'm coming up to this log and I just swing my leg over and there's a snake there, man, I'm gonna get tagged and I'm gonna get tagged really fast. And if it's a venomous one, that could be a real issue. So when you come up to a log, you step on the log, you look to make sure nothing's there, and then you step away from the log as you move on. And the protocol is the same, whether it's a big log like I just had, or even a small log like this. Step, look, step away. Okay, so I'm out camping, and I need to get some firewood for the fire, because of course you gotta have a fire when you're camping. And I see a bunch of wood, okay? Key with the wood is you don't just reach underneath and grab everything. Don't put your hands where you can't see them. So I'm gonna grab from here where I can see, move the log, grab from here where I can see, and I'm gonna keep doing this, always keeping my hands where I can see them. And if I do that right, then I'm never gonna encounter a snake. Even if there is a snake in there, I'm gonna see it before it has a chance to tag me. 
But let's say you're out and you're looking for frogs or salamanders or something else, and you're gonna roll a log to look underneath it, or you're gonna pick up a piece of wood, a board, or a piece of tin, thinking that maybe if you're looking for snakes, maybe you wanna catch them. When you do that, make sure that you take, again, put your hands where you can see them, but you roll the log or whatever toward you. And that way, if there's a snake down here, all right, and it decides it needs to escape, it can escape this way, the board's in the way, the log's in the way, that's the way it's gonna run, that's the way it's gonna take off, which is good because that keeps you safe. Also, if you startle it and it decides to strike, there's nothing for it to strike at except wood, and again, you're safe. So remember, if you're rolling logs, always roll them towards you, look underneath, and then put them back where you found them. So. What if I'm just walking through the woods and I random, I just don't see the snake and it's there. Okay, one step of precaution you can wear is whenever you're out in the woods, you can wear boots and jeans. Even if it's hot, I know, and I like never wear jeans because I just can't stand being that hot when I'm out and hiking around because I hike in some pretty warm areas. But if you wear jeans, you literally are cutting down the chance of envenomation even if it's a rattlesnake, you're cutting down the chance of being envenomated by about 60% just by putting on a pair of jeans and wearing some good boots. So a simple precaution like that's gonna help. But what if you're unfortunate enough to get bit by a snake, especially one that chews on you? If it's venomous, what do you do? You should put ice on it. No. You should suck the venom out. Uh-uh. You should make little incisions with your knife and then suck the venom out. No. You should run like the dickens back to the house and get some help. Certainly not. You should catch the snake so that they know what kind it is. That's the last thing that you want to do. You should take your belt off and wrap it around your arm real tight like a tourniquet and keep the blood from flowing back in there. That'll keep the venom out. More people lose their limbs and have damage because of a snake bite because they put a tourniquet on incorrectly. So no, don't even do that. So what should you do? Let me show you. This is the best snake bite kit around. Now we're in the 21st century. It's that right there. You need to call for help. Call someone, let them know what happened, tell them you're on your way back, then you call 911 and you say, hey, I've been bitten by a snake. I'm heading back in. This is where I am. You need to remain as calm as possible. You see, the faster your blood is flowing, and it's really hard. You've been bit by a venomous snake. You're scared. I get that. But the more you can stay calm and keep your blood from pumping fast, the, the slower that venom is going to move through your system. As you're doing that, walk calmly from the area, get to a place where you can receive help, okay? Try to keep, if it's possible, try to keep whatever area has the venom, if you're bitten the arm, try to keep that below your heart in as much as possible. If you have a friend with you, if you're hiking with a friend, then you need to get to a safe place, and that way your friend, if they need to, they can wave for help and track people in. Don't, leave, don't be left alone in the woods. That's not a good idea. But have your friend, when you hear the ambulance come, and have them be the ones that bring them to you if that's possible. And that is how you can be safe in the woods when it comes to snake bites. Mm -hmm.